Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here and this is another video for the Integrating APIs in the Django 3.2 playlist on YouTube. Now before I jump into the video, if you want to support us at Decoding to help us create more content quickly and of a better quality, then there's a link in the description below to our Patreon page. Pledges are massively welcome, so if you're feeling generous, have a look there. And also, if this is the first time on the channel, then please subscribe, like, and uh, share the content, as that's also a massive help. So, if you've been following along with this playlist, a uh, link to which is just up here, you'll know that I'm trying to integrate as many APIs in the Django 3.2 as possible to help you guys as uh, developers, and hopefully you'll glean some gems of information out of these projects from GitHub, and you can integrate it into your own projects. That's what we're trying to do. Let's jump into this project and look at my screen. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the uh, Fixer.io API. This is an API that allows us to make a call to their site and the response gives us conversion rates from any given currency to another. Um, because we're using a free API, uh, it defaults to euros, uh, but you can convert that into any um, currency. But if you get a paid API, then you can do any currency from one to the other. So that's the API. Uh, it's open up on the GitHub repository, the link to which is in the description below. But all you've got to do is you've got to set up a directory on your local machine, you've got to clone this repository, uh, pip install the requirements, add the API key into the um, either this, you can put it straight in the settings.py file, or you can create a settings.ini file and then save it uh, in there and it just separates the API from your project. But once you run your server or make migrations and run, it will all work seamlessly. Brilliant. This is GitHub, like I say. I've also got the link to uh, fixer.io, the link to that is in the description below. This is the site, you need to sign up, but you can sign up for free and you get an API key. But this is the site here, um, if you go to pricing, there you go, I've got this one here. Gives you a thousand API calls a month, um, but then you can pay $10 a month and up and up and up. Uh, it depends what your requirement is, but for this tutorial, we've just got this one here and I've got the API and I've got it saved in the project. So let's open up the project. Um, actually open it up on a uh, browser. I've got one open on incognito here. Okay, so this is the project. It opens two URLs as home and as results. Very familiar to all the other projects I've got on GitHub. Bit of familiarity. You kind of know where I'm getting with the, or kind of know where I'm going with these projects now. But we've got home. This allows us to select uh, a currency. Actually, because this is uh, the um, free version, it defaults to Euro, it doesn't select that. But um, essentially, um, if you were to put your hand in, uh, deeper in your pocket, you could select more than one, or, uh, or sorry, uh, uh, you could select uh, pounds, uh, GBP, uh, American dollars, and so on and so forth. And then you can select multiple um, currencies to convert to. So let's just, let's go to, um, let's have a look here. Oh, we've got Bitcoin there, let's go with Bitcoin. Keep your finger on control and you can um, select more than one. Let's go Jamaican dollar. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got quite a few. Um, Turkish lira, there you go. And if you click submit, what it does, it creates a parameter, adds it to the URL and it redirects you to results and it gives you, it makes the call to the API and it responds with this. So one euro is the equivalent of 0 0.00002575 Bitcoin. And the Jamaican dollar, 183, and Turkish lira is 10.26. So quite a handy application if you're working with currencies. I don't need to go, you know, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin, right? So you're using a currency and you're getting a conversion. But hopefully you can see from this app that uh, it's quite helpful. And I hope that you can use it for your own project. So that is what it looks like. Uh, let's jump into the code itself. So this is the code here. This is sublime text. Uh, we've got the main directory here. So it's did Django fix API. We've got settings. And as normal, I've got the decouple. So Django decouple in the requirements. That allows you to remove sensitive information from the settings file. That's what I've done with the API key. So like I say, if you save the API key in the dire directly in settings.py, the project will work. But you can create a settings.ini file, which I've got here. And you can save it directly in there. And that will also work. So I'm importing OS, and then from decouple, I'm importing config. I've got the main app in the installed apps here. Keep scrolling down, I've changed the language code ENGB, and then I've got the stack files variables here. They're always the same in all of my projects. I will gloss over it quickly. So static files does, that is because we're serving up the um, logo and CSS files, essentially. Static URL, that is the, um, 
that's the variable that comes straight out of the box with Django. And then we've got static root. So this is um, when we make the command python manage.py collect static, that is the, um, the directory that it creates called sat static CDN in a um, development environment. So we then got API equals config. So like I say, you could just save your API key directly there as a string, or you can put it in the settings.ini file, but you need the API key for this to work. So that's the config, that's the, um, the main conf. Static, we've got JS, um, that's not needed. CSS, that's what makes it look pretty. Uh, oh look, we've got a couple of, we've got, um, this is a hangover from a previous tutorial. Um, basically, there's not much going on in static, you don't really need to know too much about that. Uh, we've then got the main app itself. So admin apps, mixins, yeah, we'll look at that in a second. URLs, so that's the index and results. They're the two URLs that we see on the front page there on the template. Then we've got views. So um, we're, from, we're bringing in from the mixins, we're bringing in redirect params. That's a function that I've got in the mixins that allows us to create a parameter that appends to a URL. Very helpful. And then we've got the converter API. So two views, we've got index. These are both function-based views. So we're passing request. And if request equals equals post, so if it's a post request from the form on the index page, then we do this piece of logic. Uh, if not, um, we do this piece of logic. So symbols get it. So actually there's a, um, a method in the um, converter class called get symbols. The symbols essentially are the GBP, the EUR. So it's the codes for the currencies themselves. And then we'll create a context dictionary and we're, if there are symbols that are returned from the API, then we add symbols as a keyword to the dictionary context and we render it to index. There we go. If we are posting symbols and base, which we'll go into in a second in the mixing. So if we can find, um, well, the base is just a keyword base, but the list is, um, so the, sorry, symbols comes through as a list. So we're selecting multiple symbols. So in this case, if you remember on the, um, um, the example I gave you a minute ago, we, we brought through Bitcoin, we brought through Jamaican dollar and Turkish lira. Well, that gets posted through as a list. So you need to get list from the post and it's called symbols. So if symbols and base, so you need both of them. And what we do, we join the list with a pipe. So we create a pipe and then we use the redirect params. And so we pass that through to the URL. So that's the index view. The results view is just a get request. So we get in the base from get.get .get and symbols get.get. .get. And if we have symbols and base, so we need to have both to do anything. But if, there are, if both of them are posted through, uh, sorry, in the get request, then we join. That's right, you can't have a pipe in this API. It needs to be um, the symbols connected with a comma. Um, so we, cre we create a, a new string called symbols with um, comma separated. And then we, we call the converter API. We pass through base and symbols as keywords. And we call the get data method. If conversion, so if it returns something, because if it doesn't, if it returns, if it's a failure, the API is a failed call, then it returns none. So if it returns something, then we pass it through as the context and we render out the results HTML. Brilliant. And if it all fails, then it redirects back to main. So that's kind of a catch, catch all if you end, if you like at the end. So let's look at the mix-ins and then call it a day with this video. So the redirect params, we always use this in the project. It's a very helpful piece of code. It uses the URL encode. You pass through the URL that you want to redirect to and you pass through the parameters and it creates a parameter string, an encoded parameter string, which is really good. And then we've got a class called converter. We've got the init method and we've got a get data method and we've got a get symbols method. So the get data method is called in the index HTML, if you remember. And we're using a results, um, Library, sort of results, the request library is in the requirements um, TXT file. And uh, we're making a get request. This is the URL. So it's data.fixer.io API latest. And then we pass through some params. Base, that's the, in this case, is euros. Symbols, that's um, what we're converting to. And access key is the API key. Uh, and then we return if it's a, if the conversion is keyword success is true, then we return all of this. If not, we return none. Get symbols. 
This is just another, uh, sorry, another API call. Oh, sorry, the get symbols method, that's what's used in the index. The get data method is what's used in the results. My apologies. So in this one, it's getting the symbols. So we're returning all of the symbols that they've got in the API itself, and we add that to the select, or, uh, select element in the HTML. So that's the uh, converter API class. Let's quickly have a look at the HTML. So in the index, in the index here, yes, we've got a form, it's called API form. We're passing in a template tag, CSRF token. You will always have to do that. Uh, method is post. And this is a select element. The name is base. So this is for the EUR, so Euro. So this is selected. If you were to, if you were able to select different ones, then you'd pass in a list, um, but you wouldn't have multiple. So rather than, yeah, you wouldn't have multiple. So you, you could just select one symbol and convert it to mu uh, numerous symbols. So the second selection element is this here. And you can see I've got four key value in symbols.items. So this is another template tag, it's a for loop, but I'm, I'm looping through a dictionary. So you do the key value and we're iterating through the items of the symbols object. And from that we can get the key, which is EUR, if it's Euro and value title, the value would be euros. Um, and we're, we've got the um, filter title, so it puts a capital on there. And then we get N4. So that's all we're doing on the front end, and in the results, it's just a table, and uh, four key value in conversion.rates.items. So we just, we have to get the rates keyword, and it's the items in that object that we're iterating through. And yeah, we're just adding this to the table. So for every entry that we pull through, we add another key and another value. So that is all we are doing. Nice and simple API, but a very, very helpful one if you're dealing with currencies and conversions. So that is the end of this video. Like I said at the start, if uh, you're feeling generous, then there's a link to our Patreon page in the description below. Any pledges are massively welcomed. Um, so yeah, have a look if you're interested. And if um, you can please um, please subscribe please like this video and share the content on the channel massively helpful so thanks for watching hope you've liked it hope it's been interesting and I'll be seeing you in the next video thank you bye